Hey guys, it's Silver Wolf. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. I actually love watching videos like this, so I thought why not do one myself. This will more or less be my K-pop collection so far, minus the albums themselves, because I could not be bothered to get them all down. But this is going to be like photo cards, postcards, and other little things like that. I currently only have two binders. This one is my NCT Dream 127 and Stray Kids binder. And then everything else is in here, but I still have more pocket sleeves to get. Nine pocket, four pocket, three pocket. Like I need to get all of those still. And I have a lot of cards on the way, but I want to do a video of me putting them away just because I love watching those as well. I'm gonna go through these today as my collection so far, but I'm gonna start with like postcards and things like that before anything else. I'll start with this. This is my Stray Kids Bang Tango Live standee. I have used it, but I decided to just keep it in my binder instead. So I got, I pulled that myself. I can't remember which one of these it was. I think it might have been this one. I pulled one of these from my album. However, I had already bought three of the film strips from someone else. So I treated my extra that I actually pulled to get my remaining one. So I have Hyunjin and Jisung, Bangchan and Sungmin, Felix and Jungin, and then Changbin and Mino. I know these probably aren't in age order, but then again, Jungin is the youngest and he is with Felix, who's like the third youngest. So the ages aren't exactly in order. <laughs> For EXO's obsession, I got Kai's little, I don't actually know what this is called, it's like translucent little stand thing and I am looking to trade this for someone else's, I just haven't put it up on my trades account yet. Can't really see his face but you can see his name so it's okay. For NCT Dream Wee Boon uh, scratch cards, I pulled Jisung, Chunla and Jamin. They, I pulled all of them ones because I, my mom acci I accidentally got two of the same album and one of the other, so I got all three, and I'm just looking for the other three now. Then I bought Hechan and Jisung's little school kit rollers because they're adorable. I also bought Blackpink Kill This Love, I think, one of four of Lisa and. Rose. I call her Rose, but I think it's supposed to be Rose, so sorry about that. Then I traded my grip Polaroid from Young Forever to get J Hopes from BTS. And then on my Twice More and More A version, I have the little postcard things that become uh, like a poster at the back. And I have them already pre like organized to put into the binder. So I'm gonna leave them as they are, but I got all of them and I'm keeping all of them just for handiness. And then for Itzy, I bought both of Yuna's It's Icy postcards. So I have both of hers. I have no room on screen, but you can still see them down here. And I also bought their It's Me pre-order set, the blue version. Those are like postcards and stuff that I have so far. I also have uh, NCT Dreams Reloads little wrist tags, but they're in the binder and I couldn't be bothered to get them out. So that is the postcards and other little inclusions that I have, or just things that I don't have a pocket for it to fit into yet. So I need to buy pockets for all of these things before I can actually put it into the binder properly. So we'll start with my Stray Kids and main NCT binder which this is where I keep all of the Stray Kids and NCT inclusions for now again like I said I don't have the right pocket sleeves for them and this is just a pack of stickers that I got with the trade it wasn't an NCT trade but I like the stickers and I have nowhere else to put them so but I have NCT Dream at the front because they're the ones I mainly collect from NCT. They're my biases. And for the first I have Geno's and this little tag here means it's currently on hold 
So I am actually buying that tomorrow. Or not tomorrow. Monday the... Oh shit, what's the date? I think it's the 10th of August tomorrow. Not tomorrow, this Monday coming. So that little tag means it's on hold for me. But the different one, this little darker colored one, means it's on the way, it's been paid for or treated and it's on the way still. So then for We Young, I have Hechan, Chunla and Jisung on the way. I pulled Mark myself and Bunjin and Jeno's are on hold. So I will have the full collection of We Young hopefully soon, which is honestly my favorite era and it's the era that got me into NCT. So that one means a lot to me. Next as we go up, I have literally nothing. <laughs> I don't even have the album for it yet. I just never got around to actually buying it, but I have Jisung's crew card and his photo card on the way currently. Yeah, I, I, these ones are more on the side since they're not the main thing to collect, but the photo cards are going to be a little bit hard to find. Next we have Wee Boom, which is coming along quite well. I have, I'll take this off for a second. I have Lunjin's the ones that I pulled were Lunjin uh, Wii version, Chunlo Wii version, and Jisung Boom version. And then I pulled these two and an extra Hechan. I have this one up for, well actually up for sale now because I have all the rest of the circle cards either on, on hold to buy or on hold to trade. I bought Lunjin's Boom version, which is on the way currently. Hechan's both versions are on hold and Jisung's Wii version is on hold. I'm buying that tomorrow from a go. And these are all on hold, so this one's coming along quite well. I'm so happy though that I'll have a full collection here, full collection here, here and here. So then I'll just have to get the photo cards for Jamin and Jeno. I am a little upset that they're the last ones that I collected. I have been trying to find Jeno's, but they're quite expensive or I just don't have the money at the time that I find it. And Jamin's, I only see up for trade. I never actually see it up for sale, so that's a little upsetting. Um, The Dream, this is the Japanese albums, the one that has the grip version and then has one for each member. I know this is going to be very difficult to collect. I just have them pre-made anyway. For Reload, I... Actually, for Reload, I pulled Jamin completely. And then I pulled Jeno's writing version. So I had a full collection of Jamin. And I traded it for Jeno's Roland version and Jisung's Raiden version. These ones I have a hard time finding as well. I only really see them in goes. I never actually see them from other people except the circle cards. But circle cards are easy enough to find and to buy. They're quite cheap. It's the photo cards themselves that are hard to find. So I have none of Unjin, including circle cards. I have Jeno's Rowan photo card and Raiden circle card. None of Hechan. I have Chunla circle card for Roland, which I had traded with the Jamin one. And then I have Chunla's uh, Roland version on hold and Raiden version on hold, but this one's from a go. And so is that one actually. <laughs> and Jisung's Roland version is also from the same go as the this one. So they're in the same go and this is in a different go. This one I want so, so, so badly, his Roland card, because it's super pretty. But that one's really cute, so I'm happy with that one. The Dream Show, again, another one that's going to be very difficult to collect, but I have it there anyway. And then here I have Jisung's Puff stickers, which are so fucking cute. And I have his Sonara uh, from 2020 Season's Greetings on the way. And his uh, Reload Kino that I pulled. I have his Kino here because I took out the Kinos from NCT because they're going for stupid prices. So for now, I'm just gonna have them as it is and just put them in a pocket anywhere. And if I end up collecting the whole set, then I can put them in their own um, pocket sleeve. But for now, he's just gonna sit here, which is really sad because I love their Kino cards, but people don't know how to price things fairly. 
Like, yeah, it's an Aquino, but that doesn't fucking mean it's rare or that it's worth more. You shouldn't be pricing, like, it's a piece of card. It's tiny. It's a picture with a signature that's been replicated constantly for over a hundred, hundred, hundreds of pictures. Like, it isn't special. You shouldn't be having these for over the highest I would go in any currency is 15 and even then that's pushing it for me. Going over 15, including shipping, is fucking ridiculous. Like for the I have, for my extra wee wee boom um wee version, I'm selling it to someone for nine pound shipping included. Well, that's quite cheap to be fair. If the price of the thing is quite high, I'll just have it as shipping included because that covers it for both of us. Stop being greedy bastards and pricing things ridiculously high just because all you care about is money. It's not worth over 15 pound or dollars or euros, whatever your currency is. If you're gonna sell it for that much, I'm just gonna buy another Kino. It's, it's the same fucking price, there would be no difference. Anyway, after that mini rant, moving on to 127 uh, for fire. For 1d7, I only collect five members Johnny, Taeyong, Yuta, Mark, and Hechan. Um, because again, pricing is ridiculous and there's more members. For NCT Dream, I collect them all because they're all my biases. I can't pick one. And so I'm only collecting five members in 1d7. For Fire Truck, I have Hechan's second one on hold. I forget the actual I forget the actual name of it, but I'll if I find a picture I'll put it up on screen. I have that one on hold, um, I have nothing from Cherry Bomb, which are some of my favourite PCs, they're so pretty, uh, nothing from Chain either, and then regular irregular, I have Mark's irregular on hold and I'm buying it tomorrow, um, regulate I have nothing, awaken I have nothing, superhuman I have pulled Yuta and I traded Johnny's uh, for, well actually, the person that I traded with is getting Mina and Chi. I don't know how to pronounce her name because everyone keeps saying it differently. But those two PCs I traded for Johnny's Superhuman and Chunla's Wii version for Wii Boom. I just traded that for his Boom version. Uh, I have Marks on the way, his PC. And then, actually, I have this one on hold. Everything's fucking on hold. But, um, I'm buying that tomorrow. So, I pretty much have all of these circle cards. These ones just won't be here for, well, actually, no, this one will be here sooner. So, these two, by tomorrow, will be on the way. And these three will be on hold and for another three weeks, because that's the only date I'm able to pay for them. This one's already on the way. Um, still need them to, but that should be easy-ish since it's only two PCs. Moving on to Neo Zone. I pulled these two. I haven't bought any of the PCs because they're going for stupid prices once again. But I have Taeyong's uh, C version and Hechan's N version, which are very cute. And then circle cards, I pulled Johnny and Yuta, which is very handy. I pulled the biases for all of them. Um, I have nothing from the T version yet. I haven't bought it. And for Punch, don't have anything yet. Moving on to Stray Kids. This collection is very bare. I, I have most of it just planned out, but I have not many of the cards, unfortunately. For Stray Kids, I collect Chan, Jisung, Felix, Hyunjin, and Jungin. So another five members. For every group, except for Super, Super Human, for Super M and NCT Dream. Other than them, I collect specific members. For NCT Dream and Super M, I collect all members. For Super M, it's more because everyone except Kai is my biases from their respective groups. But I feel bad if I don't collect just one member, so I'm collecting his as well. But for Stray Kids, 
I literally have none of them, like at the very beginning. <laughs> it's just pre-planned, which sucks. But I'm not actually sure where these like arrowways are supposed to go. So if you don't, if you do know, please tell me. And I am still looking for. I got these in a go. I'm still looking for Jisung, Hyunjin, and Jungins. But I did find them on eBay. It will just take me a while to get the money for them if they're still available by that time. I am you and nothing. Miro. I literally have nothing from any of these. I just have it planned. Which makes me really sad. But I have Jungin's um which one was that? I think that's the logo the logo uh picture. I have his logo picture, I bought it. Uh, so that's the only one from Miro I have. Yellow wood, I have fuck all. <laughs> Once again. Levanter, I have Jason's blue slash purple border. I'm not actually sure which color it is, but I have that one on hold. I don't have anything else from them. And then go live because I, I bought the limited album, so this one I have, do have more photo cards. I traded, I think that was Chang Beans for um, Chan's photo card. Don't have anything of Jisung's, which is so sad because I love his PCs this era. White, his uh, like white and black hair is gorgeous. It's one of my favorite looks that he has. For Felix, I traded Mino's Limited for Felix's and I pulled this Felix. So I know that the labels probably aren't what they're called, but it helps me remember what they are. And then I don't have Hyunjin or Jungin's. Then at the back, I have all the cards and pieces of paper from my trades or buys. I always keep them because I, I don't know. It's kind of sentimental, but I just like keeping them. So that is my Stray Kids and NCT binder. Moving on to this one, which is my far bigger one that I do plan to get rid of and change into multiples of this version. But for now, I just have this. Ignore this. It's because of the little sticky things here. And I just put a random nine pocket sleeve in front of it so it doesn't stick onto everything else. Here I have NCT 2018. Once I have more binders, I'll have all of NCT in one binder, Stray Kids in one, like girl groups in one, and then the rest in other ones, probably. But NCT 2018, I have the prices on the back of these ones. The one, this is the highest prices I will go, and it's the highest prices that I've seen for each member. I hate the different pricings for each member. It's, it's disgusting. Their value isn't by popularity. You shouldn't value how much they're worth because of their popularity. It's disgusting. Like if you saw yourself being priced lower than the rest of your members, it would hurt. Like it would seriously hurt. But this is the type of pricing that I've seen people do for each member. And it's also the highest that I'm willing to go. So for empathy, I only it's just all of my biases that I'm collecting. But um, I have Jisung's reality version, which I'm so happy about because I love his ones as well. But I have his reality version and I have his dream version on hold, which is super exciting. For Wavy, I only collect 10 Lucas and Shaojin. I have nothing from Wavy yet because I haven't bought any of their albums yet. Albums are not cheap, so don't even try and get at me. Oh, you're not a real fan. Like. I don't have that kind of fucking money, especially since Takeoff is being sold for ridiculous prices once again. Next is Super M. For Super M, I'm only collecting the US ones because the Korean ones are like really difficult to find apparently. I have Taemin's um, A version of the American versions on hold until I think next week. I think, don't quote me. Either next week or the week after. I pulled Beck Guns from the Grip album and I traded the person wanted Chenyeol's Obsession card that I had and I traded it for Lucas's Super M card. So now I don't have any of X's <laughs> album cards, but it's okay. And then I have Kai's 
A American version and Mark's B American version on the way. I have it. I'm I have them already here. I'm just waiting for more cards to come so I can do a video of me actually putting them in the binder because I love watching those videos so I want to make one. So I actually do have these two. I just need to put them in the binder. And then I bought Beckyon and Mark's one of their like tour sets of cards them kind of things i bought them in a go and they're currently on the way next is red velvet i only collect wendy and yidi like priority wise i collect those two and then for selective cards i selectively collect silgi and irene i haven't put them in these ones yet though so i need to redo that and put in their cards that i want to collect because there's only a few of their cards I want to collect as like side cards because some of them are really really pretty and really cute. Then so for ice cream cake I have Yeeties on hold. That's it <laughs> for that one. I have Wendy's Russian Roulette. I had traded for hers with Silgi's that I pulled and Yeeties Russian Roulette is on hold. I'm buying both the Russian Roulette and ice cream cake tomorrow as well. Not tomorrow, Monday for fuck's sake. Um, I don't have any of their cards yet, unfortunately. And Wendy's second really bad boy PC I have on hold as well for a trade. Uh, the Red Bay Festival day one and day two have nothing. Um, finale I have nothing. And I took out their Kinos as well because I don't know how much they're priced. Next is Monster, Irene and Silgi's uh, unit debut. I do plan to collect all of them because all of their cards are quite cute and Silgi's my bias wrecker so that's handy enough. Have all their cards set out and then the duo cards. Next is Twice, I have some of them pre-planned. I need to get more pieces of paper to write in their names, but I'm only gonna collect up to summer nights for now, so I'm moving backwards. But because they have so many PCs uh, for one album, I'm just gonna go up to summer nights for now. I collect Jungin, 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 Momo, Sana, and Dahyun. So. Um, Summer Nights, Fancy You, Feel Special, and More and More are the ones I'm collecting right now. More and More is definitely a priority. I love them cards. But I bought Sana's uh, Feel Special pre-orders, these two, the two versions, and then I bought Jung Yun, Jung um other pre-order card for Feel Special. I have none of their Phil Special photo cards. Um, for those of you confused, I'll put up the PCs on screen. But I'm gonna have the gold cards here and then the cards that says Phil Special written on the card here for each member. That way it isn't like a full set and then there's two on the back because I don't like that. So I just have one with the remaining cards as the kind of introduction because I don't know I just like it so I have all Jungyun's cards here I have Momo's glitter border on hold don't have any of Sana's don't have any of Dahyun's I have the full set of the A version pre-order cards for more and more because that came along with the album that I bought I didn't know I had bought the one with the pre-orders but that came anyway so the full set of them Still looking for the full set of the C and B version, but I bought Momo and Sana's full set, so I had to. I actually sent the extra two of these uh, along with a trade just as a freebie. So I have them, and then I have the little most card. I have three of Jungyun's cards on the way and I pulled her I think that's I've labeled it as the second selfie and the signed photo card I have them I pulled them and I have her card that says more and more 
her gold border and her red border on the way. Uh, I don't have any of Momo's, which makes me really sad, but I have her second selfie card. I have Santa's red border on the way, and I have her first selfie and her signed card on hold, which makes me super happy because her cards are fucking gorgeous. Dahyun, I got this. I bought this from the same person that I bought the Itzy pre-order set from and the same person I traded my Chunla rolling card for. Her thin gold border, her black border and her red border are currently on hold but I'm buying I think all three, to not tomorrow, fuck's sake. Monday morning I think I'm buying all three so those will be on the way. The Jungyeon and Momo unit card is also on the way and I bought Sana and Dahyun's unit card from the same person I'm buying these and the, da the Jungyeon cards from. And then for the grip cards I have Jungyeon, Jihyo and Sana's on the way as well, same person as before. Got seven, I only have one sleeve because I don't have enough, this is the only sleeves I have remaining and I need to buy more. But I have Jackson's present you uh, purple border on hold and then I have Bam Bam's flight log arrival, the white border on hold as well. So those are currently, that's currently my whole binder, Zzz. both of my binders. It's all I have left right now and then I have all the extra stuff in this little sleeve just for now until I have more sleeves and a better binder as well. Oh yeah, I actually accidentally cut myself. I don't know if you can see it. Um, here on my finger, I cut myself from opening this because it hit me in the finger. That shit hurt. <laughs> So that is both of my binders kind of just for a video because I, I like watching these kind of videos and I kind of want to make like videos on my progress with my out with my binder thought why not do this for fun because I actually like these kind of things it's fun to keep up with your progress it's also a nice way to kind of appreciate how far your collection has come but I want to end the video by saying you aren't obligated to buy all the albums to get all the photo cards to get all the inclusions the posters voting streaming constantly you aren't obligated to do that that's not your whole life purpose you can do it on your free time all you want you can do it when you have the money, spend it in an appropriate way, don't be like me and stupidly waste all of your wages. Well, look, not waste, but like, I leave just about enough to eat because I, I stress by, which is not a good thing, that's a bad thing. I stress by because it prevents me from relaxing and I'm scared to relax. So I stress by K-pop things because it makes me happy. It takes time. I'm not gonna fa I, like, hang on. For We Young, I bought these three about a week, two weeks ago, and I have these on hold in the last week. That was purely in luck, but I didn't start collecting until about a month, almost two months ago. That's relatively fast, that's just luck. But don't force yourself to collect. If it's not something you want, if it makes you stressed, if it's making you upset, just Keep the cards you've collected so far and you can stop. Like you're not, it's not an obligation. You can do it if you want to, but don't feel like you have nothing else to live for if you don't do this. I know that's very dramatic, but some people really make it out to be like that. I hate how much it's become a competition and I hate how much people overprice items. I also hate the fact that there's scammers 
in this community and that there's people that are extremely rude when all you're doing is asking a question or saying that you don't collect a certain member because you can't afford it. If someone can't afford it, don't guilt them into buying every other member. I don't hate any other member. I don't hate any of the, mem the members in any of the groups that I like. I love them all. I just can't afford to buy all of their cards. And that's something people need to get into their thick skulls. Stop guilting people into buying cards or into buying more albums when they can barely afford to feed themselves. I hate the competitiveness that's come into this community and I love I love the calm nature of the collection community and the nice one. One of the channels that I really love that actually got me into collecting is called Nana's Dreams. Uh, her real name is Summer. She's very calm. She's very neutering. Or ne ne neutering? Nurturing. Nu I can't say that word with my accent. She's very calm. Feels kind of motherly and protective to the to the grips that she likes, specifically NCT Dream since they're younger than her. But like, she's kind. She's calm. She doesn't mind answering questions. She's not rude. I don't think she has a bad bone in her body. And I've never met her. I ha I've had. I have, do I have talked to her before on Instagram. But I don't think we'd be considered friends more because we don't talk constantly we're not on that kind of basis but i am we are civilized like we're nice to each other we talk every now and again if she's having a bad day i pop up and just check in on her see how she's doing but like that's fine like she's nice to talk to but she's not competitive she's not rude she doesn't make you feel like you have to collect or that you're not a real fan if you don't collect do it on your own time and do it when you can afford it i do think it is a good idea to start with one member but <laughs> I can't pick one member of any group. I just feel horrible if I only pick one member. Same way I feel bad if I only don't collect one member. Example, Super Grim. Just take it easy. Don't feel like you, you're being forced to. If you feel like you're being forced or you're stressed out, take a break. There's nothing wrong with taking a break at all. I've actually been wanting to make a video on like overpricing items and scammers and things like that. So if you do want me to make a video on them, let me know in the comments. But that is currently my binder so far. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. That's your choice. If you want to see more content, click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell if you want to stay updated on the next time I upload, if YouTube decides to tell you. My nails are very gross today. <laughs> well, that one is. And that one. Why is it only those two? Comment down below whatever you want to comment and send any suggestions for any videos, topics you want me to talk about or videos you want me to do in general. You can follow my socials. I don't actually use Twitter anymore to be honest. I really really don't like Twitter. It's extremely toxic and I don't feel comfortable being on there. So you can follow my Instagrams which is my main personal Instagram and my trade and sale account. You can follow those if you want to and you can DM me if you have any suggestions for videos as well. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you have a good day and take care of yourself and take care of the pack while I'm away. Bye! Don't say goodbye.